We are going to start to try and develop this 50 hertz into a look and an image and a style and we want to have this dub wise kind of be our cornerstone for each month building and evolving what we're doing and so that when it comes time for Burning Man next year and um, I'm assuming most of you guys go to Burning Man or if you don't either way uh, you can still be a part of it we want to just unplug our speakers and unplug our lights and pack it all up and take it out there and just set it up. We don't want to be going out to Burning Man and kind of fumbling around and saying, okay, what are we doing? What's this? What's that? What's the other? We just want to already have everything dialed and just to be able to take it out there and set up and say, this is who we are. And uh, we're hoping that each and every one of you can be a piece of that puzzle and help contribute in whichever way you want. Some people are metal workers. Some people are sound people. Some people are electricians. Other people just have two hands and they want to help. And we want to get each and every one of you guys involved in your own special way to help make this happen. So um, that's kind of in a nutshell what's going on. As well, um, we've got this, this brand new space. It's a big, huge building and uh, we want to fill it. Starting in the back here, uh, where you come in when we're having parties and whatnot, that's going to ultimately become a gallery and a store. We're going to have artists showcasing their stuff in there. We're also hoping to bring in uh, photovoltaic systems. We want to have solar energy in there. We want to sell wind energy in there. We want to sell anything that's something that's contributing to the betterment of this group and this space and the, the world as a whole. Um, in here is going to be our event space. Uh, some of you probably have already been to parties here. Uh, we'll be having all kinds of different events going on. Uh, like I said, we're going to have Dubwise on a monthly basis, which is kind of our party, our event, to, uh, to bring out or to bring to the, to the public. We're also going to have 50 Hertz has um, some main fundraisers every year. Halloween, we have uh, the Hard On Party, we also have the uh, Green Party, the 420 Party, and uh, we do a spring meet and greet as well for the different groups that are involved in uh, Burning Man. We've also talked about bringing in um, the decompression party here. We've talked about bringing in Sundance events here. We've talked about bringing in outdoor retailer events, anything that can help support this place. It's a, it wasn't a cheap purchase and we have a really big rent on here. So anytime any of you guys are wondering, you know, why am I paying to come in here? You know, first and foremost, it's going to the group that's hosting the event that night, which can be 50 Hertz. It could be the uh, Element 11 local burn people. It could be Desert Rocks. It could be a lot of different people. But also, you know, ultimately we have to pay rent on this place. So uh, we've got, as we're moving forward, in the middle building is a refrigeration. Uh, with the shrimping factory, they used to have a lot of refrigeration. So that's going to be a space that we're going to be renting. Uh, and then towards the back, we've got a big, huge area that's going to be also refrigeration, but it's also going to be art space. And uh, we're looking for artists that want to be a part of it. Not only, um, we've got a couple rooms in here. Uh, Ike and Steph are going to be coming over here doing their clothing. We're going to hopefully be having artists up above that are going to be renting space. We're going to, in the back, Christian's going to be doing his glass. Weston's looking at doing his photography. We've got the jellyfish stored back there. We've got all kinds of different things. So uh, anyone who's an artist who wants to be a part of this, you know, we definitely have space. We want to make it so it's a cooperative type of thing where it's affordable and that you guys can all be a part of it. We want to, we want to bring everyone in as a group to, uh, to make this thing happen. Um, so, as well, beyond just the artists being here, we're also wanting to evolve the space into whatever you guys want it to be, um, namely some of the ideas that have been tossed around. We want to hopefully have space in that back area uh, to start doing classes. We want to have um, the first Wednesday night of every month, we want to be able to have people come in here and do uh, different, different classes, different learning things. We want to make it more of like a family night. You know, we have these parties. They're always 21 and over, but we want to be able to bring people in on Wednesday nights to, uh, to learn and to do crafts. And uh, if someone wants to do a special presentation and teach us how to pole dance or to paint or whatever those different things are going to be, we want people to start associating Wednesday nights with being down here. Specifically, rather than go for every single Wednesday night right now, we're going to be doing the first Wednesday nights. And that's also going to be the nights that we start working on decorations. That's the nights that we get ready for the dub wise, which will be on most, most of the time will be two days later on the Fridays. Um, we've also talked about maybe trying to get a farmer's co-op going with some of this refrigeration where we can bring 
different people that have uh, farmed goods coming in, especially um, surplus goods, and start to get groups of people together to, uh, to share their different um, gardens. And we have all the storage space we can use for that. Um, we'll have the, gal the gallery up front. And um, then again, we have art space uh, for painters, for uh, at one point we were talking about maybe having a sound studio back here. You know, this, this space is totally open. Whatever everyone has any ideas for, we're, uh, we're totally open to it. <clears throat> As well, we're looking for volunteers that are willing to help set up for parties, do different projects. Um, Fritz has talked about some, some really big projects and he's interested in taking out to Burning Man that uh, people could start to get involved with. Uh, we've also got um, needs for decorating. You know, we, when volunteers come, when we start to talk about volunteers, we have this whole space that needs to get decorated. It looks nice right now, but we know that putting some art on the walls and getting some, uh, some better themes going on, this place can be a lot better and a lot nicer. So those are the types of things that we're going to be looking for you guys to do. As well, just so you guys know, last year what we did as 50 Hertz is we offered up a membership. And um, a membership's not for everybody, but so that you know that it's there. Basically what we did is for $100, people joined the 50 Hertz. And what that, what that did is that money helped us as seed money to finish the elephant getting built. It helped us uh, get these speakers and all the sound equipment. It helped us uh, get our generators, all these rope lights that you see. That was all bought with using these membership dollars. Um, as well as being, for being a member, uh, any of the 50 Hertz parties that we officially sponsor, you're in for free for. Most of the other parties that we had during the year uh, that other people hosted, they got in for half price. Um, anyone who's a 50 Hertz member who paid back in December last year, you know you got into the Pimp and Ho-Ho party, you got into the Green party, you got into the Hard On party, all these different parties. This membership more than paid for itself. And like I say, it's not for everybody, um, but for people that have the money that are willing to do it, it helps us out by helping us um, get these resources that we actually have to spend hard hold, ca or hold hard cash on, but it's also going to pay itself off over the year. You know, I, I hope that most people don't think of it as paying it off by getting into parties for free, and that's not what we're about. It's just a bunch of people coming in and having parties and getting drunk and getting smashed. We don't want this place to be a party place. We want this place to be an art space that you know we do have events here, and, and but the events are geared towards the art and the music and the different things. It's not just an all-out free-for-all to come out and get smashed. So um, the membership is $100. We'll be opening it up. If you're interested in possibly doing a membership, I'm going to be sending around an email sign-up list. If you guys want to, just put like a, a yes or a star next to your name and we know that you're interested in getting a membership. The people that do have memberships are ready, and I think most of you guys know who they are. There's about 30 of you. Uh, those are pretty much going to expire after Halloween. So. November 1st is when the, uh, then your guys' memberships are going to be due again. And uh, we'd really like to see as many people as we can uh, be involved in that. Last year, I think we had like 15 paying members, which was awesome. That money was a, a huge help when, when we needed to buy supplies for the elephant, when we needed to get rope lights and get ladders. The, the ladders that you guys, I don't know where they went, but the ladders are another thing that we spent that money on. So the money always goes to good use. It's not going to any of our pockets. It's going right back into our community. Um, and everyone here, I'm pretty sure, especially when you talk about James and Pat and Ica and Christian and Colson, everything we've done, we've done as a voluntary thing. And we're not, none of us are out here for any sort of personal gain, aside from just kind of trying to help get a community together and, and get things going. So I'm gonna pass around a clipboard that's got a sign up for an email if you're not already on our email list. Also, well, and you can also put your name on there if you want to let us know that you're interested in doing a membership. But we'll send an email out about that later. It's also going to have a sign-up sheet for, we have all of our Burning Man stuff that still needs to get wiped down and cleaned up. This goes especially for people that were in our camp this year. It's going to be uh, next Wednesday night, uh, starting at about 6 o'clock. And uh, we just need people in the back area to help us get our stuff organized and wiped down and cleaned up. So if you were in our camp especially, uh, you know, we don't ask for any dues to be in camp. We just we just ask that everyone kind of pitch in. And so this is a really good way to start getting going on that. As well, I've got a sign-up sheet. If you're interested in helping us get going on Halloween, uh, our Halloween party is going to be a late night party. We're going to start at midnight. And um, we're going to need people that are going to be able to help with decorations and sound and making sure that that thing goes off. 
So there'll be a sign-up sheet for that. There's also a sign-up sheet for um, for Wayne for his uh, his Pimp and Ho Ho party, which is coming up in December. It's always a really big production, and he needs all the help he can get. Um, he does a ton of stuff. I don't know if you guys were out last year. It's in December. It's a really fun event, and um, and he needs all the help he can with getting tents and heaters and generators and all kinds of different stuff. So please, if you guys um, want to start signing up with those. Especially if you don't already have the email list or on the email list, sign up for that as well. We promise we won't inundate you with anything. It's just when events are happening, we want you all to be in the know of what's happening so you can uh, kind of know us accordingly. So I'm going to open it up for everyone to kind of just introduce yourself. Let us know if there's any specific uh, things that you're wanting to offer to the group. If you've got any specific resources or arts or um, art or trades or anything else that you want us to, uh, to know about. And then... Um, also, uh, if you have any specific visions or things that you don't see that are happening yet or that you want to see happen, let us know about that as well. But please try and keep it brief because there's a lot of people here and I, I really want to hope to hear from everybody. So I'll start right here. Hi, 